Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and this is your weekly reading for the week that goes from November 11 to November 17. Welcome to this space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be diving deep and seeing what messages are and what predictions are showing up for this week ahead in love, health, and finances and any other possible messages that spirit wants to send your way. So as I'd like to start this reading lately, I have two affirmation cards in front of me. As a tribe, as a collective of Pisces, we are very powerful. Comment below and help me raise the frequency, help me create this powerful energy in that comment section to bless all of our weeks by writing down below the affirmation that resonates with you the most. Okay, so either one of these two can be the one you choose. If you want to write both of them because they both resonate, then by all means. First one is, I now hold the key to creating my every desire. It's true. I now hold the key to creating my every desire. So comment below, comment this phrase, this affirmation. And then the second one is, I am a physical extension of source energy. I am a physical extension of source energy. So what, what can't you do, Pisces? You know what I mean? Comment below. Also, you know, if, if that doesn't resonate, this is going to be an excellent week ahead. Comment below, tap into that energy, claim that frequency, and let's get started. All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you know that you're very loved and very appreciated here in the Pisces space. For me, the one that resonates with, you, with me the most, honestly, is I am a physical extension of source energy. It's so empowering. All right, so universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in all of the most accurate predictions, the best advice, the most important messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week that goes from November 11th to November 17th, 2024. Please show the Pisces Collective what they need to know for this week ahead. Pisces, the product of the week for this week is the Higher Self Guided Meditation. It's very powerful, it's very intense, <laughs> and it helps you really understand what your intuition is telling you, as opposed to what your monkey mind might be telling you. Sometimes it's very uh, complicated to tell the difference, especially around important decisions or things that really have us like emotionally invested. So this meditation helps you see yourself, your higher self, as an external being to you that talks to you. <laughs> so it's, it's very cool, it's very... Honestly, mind blowing and fun and helpful. So, that is the product of the week. It's nineteen ninety nine. If you want to check it out, it will be in the description box below. Also, thanks to all of you who have uh, participated in the bookings of the twenty twenty five forecast. Um, I'm saying goodbye to those. Thank you to all of you who have participated. Until next year. All right, Pisces. So what I'm seeing here for this week is that something very important has been already set in motion. Something started, I heard, a month ago. Something started a month ago. So that would be around October the 10th, 11th. You may not remember exactly what we're talking about. It could have been like a process with um, paperwork or the law or applying to something or um, getting a permit. 
it seems it feels kind of like mundane in nature um, so you can check like your planner or you know something like that what were you doing around October the 10th what were you hoping for what were you achieving because it seems here that it has set something in motion and now around this week you're gonna start to really understand the depth of what that is so in the recent past with the justice card some of you may have been dealing with the libra energy some of you have been trying to rectify different situations in your life maybe you for whatever reason you had um, certain things left unattended, neglected. Maybe you had to focus yourself on something else for a while. And maybe there were some things that you yourself participated in. Mm, I want to say sabotaging, but like neglecting. And I feel like you're doing yourself justice by taking charge of all of those things. Taking inventory of what is left unsaid, the things that haven't been done, completed, finished, sent, whatever. And by taking charge of that, I feel like you're really closing a chapter, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, and open opening um, this whole thing <laughs> that I'm seeing here in the cards, which is great, by the way. So what I see here is that you're claiming and conquering more of your mental space and your energy space. It's like some of you, maybe through past life healing, maybe through Akashic Record healing, maybe through subconscious reprogramming, all the tools that we have explored here, you're claiming a lot, even soul retrieval, you're claiming a lot of energy that is yours, it's a part of you, you deserve to have it, but for whatever reason has been set aside and it was out of your reach. It's like you're claiming all of those bits of energy, a soul retrieval here, a subconscious reprogramming there, a reconciliation here, a forgiveness there, and it's like you're gathering all this power, all this strength that belongs to you, but you hadn't like cashed on I guess then we have here with the spirit of cups in your environment this reading is interesting Pisces this reading is interesting you have had to put a lot of work we've, we've talked about this this I feel like it's not no secret this has been going on for a while Pisces may have felt recently, in the past maybe two years, that you have put in a lot of work and get gotten like minimal results. Or that to get the minimal results, you have to put in twice as the same you know, amount of work. But I feel like by reclaiming all of this energy, that is changing. For sure. There is... There's a new level of maturity within you. There's something that you just didn't have before. It feels like permission from the divine to use your full power set. <laughs> it's like you have all these superpowers, but in the past, many of them weren't really available to you because you needed to either mature or learn a little bit more, practice a little bit more, have certain people be removed from your space, whatever. I feel like now everything is being aligned in such a way, even it goes very well with the affirmation at the beginning. I now hold the key to creating my every desire. Maybe in the past you had the key, but you didn't know which door <laughs> you had to enter You know the key into. But something is happening here that is not happening consciously, okay? There's a lot happening in the back of your mind, a lot happening on energy levels, even different realms. But it's really almost like putting you together. I'm seeing like a lot of pieces coming in and building you as if you were a puzzle. 
and you have been missing quite a bit of pieces, Pisces. And now it seems like this week, the continuous process of putting you back together um, unfolds. Maybe you're a little bit more aware of it. Maybe you start to feel the power more and more. Leaving behind this Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is a difficult energy. And you're leaving it in the past. It's the challenge energy here. So the Five of Pentacles, you know, it talks about feeling like crap. <laughs> Basically. Feeling left behind. Feeling unimportant. Feeling defeated. Sometimes disrespected. Betrayed. It's an energy that is not easy to digest. Some of you may be having digestive issues and it's because you are sort of like digesting energetically the things that have happened in the past that made you feel that way. Some of you have gone through things that it's like hard to even say out loud. Not because of like anything in particular, but it's just like, how dare they? say this like how how did that when and where on this earth that made sense for someone to say there's certain wounds from your past Pisces that it's hard to repeat it's hard to believe <laughs> what certain people have done and said and you know some of you if you're having a lot of digestive issues it seems like you're still processing some of those things and you're still kind of in shock of being like, in some world, that makes sense to this person, you know? Oh, wow, that's so powerful. You're putting an ending to the ending. <laughs> okay, you're putting an ending to the ending. What does this mean? You are going through, or you have been going through an ending for quite some time. And now you're saying, okay, I'm done with this. Bye. Let's put an end to this. Let's, let's just start enjoying. There's huge transformation moving forward. I feel, Pisces, that some of you have this understanding, maybe with your job, if you're like a business owner, if you're an influencer, light worker, or maybe like in other areas, really apply it to the context, you know, of your life. But I feel like many of you f have felt like you have this amount of options. And that's what it is. And that's what is available. And so you bounce from one to the other, trying to find the right fit. But Spirit is saying here, you're entering a phase in which the whole playing field is going to be a different one. You're going to have not only more options in the shape and form that you know options to show up, but you're also going to be almost like in a different space, a different realm, a different world, <laughs> in which... You're definitely very much unlimited. All right, so let's see. By the end of the week, you may start to feel the effects of all this healing. You may have a very active week. You may have a lot going on this week, Pisces, okay? Busy. Lots of healing. Lots of claiming your power and seeing how that claimed power is showing up in your life. But let's get some more tangible uh, advice, okay? Let's get some more specific uh, predictions and things like that from these oracles. So let's start with health. What are the three main messages for Pisces in matters related to health? May this be physical health, emotional health, mental health. For the week that goes from the 11th to the 17th, what is it that Pisces needs to know? What is it that Pisces needs to know? Alright, so first things first, always patience. 
Some of you are working on specific fitness goals. Some of you have a certain weight in mind, a certain size in mind, a certain amount of steps in mind. Um, and you have all these goals and it's wonderful to have them. But be patient, okay? It is a gradual process. Archangel Hophiel says your dreams are becoming... Sorry. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Remember the analogy or whatever of the seed, right? Within every seed, there is that full programming to become the full huge tree that they're supposed to be. It's already there. It's manifested. It exists. It's there. But you do need the time <laughs> to let it happen. It's the same here, Pisces. So continue to do what you're doing with your health because it is working. You just need to keep at it. Now, the second message we have here for health is spread your wings. Archangel Ariel specifically saying, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. So if there is something that you know is beneficial for you, if you know there is a hobby, an activity, a form of exercise, a supplement, a specialist, something a counselor, something that you just feel in your bones is going to help, um, go for it within reason, obviously. Do not hold back. The timing is perfect and you're ready to soar. Don't hold yourself back from doing what you know is right. You know, maybe in the past you were like, it's not time because I'm too busy or it's not time because I have to take care of this person. And Spirit is saying, go for it now. Go for it now. The third message that we have here for health is counselor. Archangel Azrael says, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. But also you can benefit from someone's guidance and reassurance by getting in touch with a counselor or working with a counselor if that is something that you have been considering, Pisces. That may be your confirmation. Now, for money and finances, universe, what are the three pieces of advice that are best suited for the Pisces Collective at this time? What is it that Pisces needs to know for the week of November 11 to the 17th for money, finances, and career? Ask for your needs to be met. Okay. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. Okay, so I'm getting in my mind this... Um, I recently saw an Eat, Pray, and Love. What a, I love that movie. I love that book. I love that story. I love the whole thing. <laughs> Um, and at some point they quote someone and they say, uh, like, they talk about someone asking the divine for help winning the lottery. I think it was like a statue or something. And every day they're like, please help me with the lottery. Please help me with the lottery. Please help me with the lottery. And the, at some point the statue, all frustrated and stuff, um, comes to life and it's like, just buy a fucking ticket, <laughs> basically. <laughs> And it, it's coming to my mind because it, it shows that it has to be like both areas need to be activated for something like that to happen, for the wish to come true. I mean, um, not only do you need to ask the divine, but you have to take action. Sometimes we ask, we don't take action. And sometimes we actually take a lot of freaking action and we forget to ask. <laughs> and Spirit is saying this week, Maybe you're doing everything right in the physical. Maybe you're putting in all the work. Maybe you're doing all the things. But just ask for the divine to, you know, interfere in the best way and help you get there quicker, easier. Open doors. Connect you with people. Do things that, you know, maybe you as a quote-unquote limited human being can't do yourself. The second message here is block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. 
You already know what these distractions are, Pisces, and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Okay, so procrastination, bye bye. <laughs> distractions, bye bye. You need to uh, put in the work, Pisces. Block out those distractions from your meditation time and from your work time. Both cards are blue in a way. So I would say throat chakra expression is going to be quite important for you this week in money and finances. So make sure that you have your throat chakra in check, <laughs> that everything is going well. And that way, what you express, how you ask for help, how you set your boundaries... How you block out your distractions can be communicated in ways that are balanced and helpful. I'm hearing, you need to write. If you want to be a writer, you need to write. <laughs> That's what I heard, I don't know. Take it if it resonates. So maybe schedule the time, open the time, carve the time if necessary for you to spend some time writing. The third message here for the week of November 11th to the 17th in money, finances, and career is raise or promotion. Congratulations, and increasing your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. So keep up the good work. Awesome. You're going to be seeing results, Pisces. Alrighty, so now let's get the three messages or advice um, for this week for your relationships. Granted, this could be your romantic relationships, but it could also apply to friendships, family relationships, coworker relationships. So take it as it resonates for you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so what this is giving me is that some of you um, were very on top of things, manifesting-wise, <laughs> um, in the past. But maybe you have stopped doing affirmations, visualizations, prayers, and stuff for a while. Maybe you were thinking about other things. Maybe you were just simply, you know not prioritizing the manifestation of an ideal love. But if you feel called and you feel like you're ready, they're telling you to get back onto all of those um, habits because it does help. And the same goes if you want to manifest like an ideal friend, an ideal team, an ideal manager, coworker, agent, you name it, same thing. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Well, we see that you're definitely clearing your energy. With the tarot cards, you know, we saw that very clearly. Um, but at the same time, they're telling you, what about asking for someone new? What about asking for something different? Now, for some of you, this could be release your expectations. Some of you may have expectations that are cluttering um, the way you perceive your relationships in general. So be mindful about that if that's the case. New love. Okay. Some of you are calling in your soulmate, thinking that you're calling in an ex. Where you're using the word soulmate or you're saying to the universe, you know, grab me this or something better. And then something better comes along and it happens to be a new person. Okay, a new love. So for some of you, that's the case. For others of you, um, just be open to new love in general, to new friendships, to new relationships and partnerships. All right, so it seems pretty good. Let's get a last Oracle card here. Pisces, if you purchase the subconscious reprogramming audios, Remember that you can put them like at a fast speed if you like. I find that that something sometimes helps me sleep um, easier. I'm using it right now. And um, it helps it go to the subconscious even better. So you can put it at a faster speed. You can put it at a lower volume. And you know what you can do? You can set a jar of water and set the recording next to the water. <laughs> 
and have the water as um, Dr. Masaru Emoto does um, absorb the affirmations into the water, changing the molecules of the water and then drink that water. It's another way of using those um, audios. So, yeah. All right. Last ideal message for Pisces for the week of November 11th to the 17th. Dive. You don't find pearls on the seashore. Go all in, Pisces. Whatever it is that you're doing, go all in. I love you so much, Pisces. I'll see you in the next reading. I hope you have a lovely, beautiful, perfect, ideal, spectacular week ahead of you. Check out the Higher Self Meditation. It's a good tool to have. You can have it there. and You can use it as many times as you want. Every time you feel like you're a little confused about what is your intuition what is your mind what is your fear and what is your like actually your guides talking to you sometimes you can get a little confusing so it's good to have that tool with you and use it every time that you feel like you need um most likely that is going to happen in one moment or another for the rest of our lives as human beings because that's just how we are <laughs> and um this is a meditation that I've created with so much love. It's powerful. It's fun. It's kind of crazy. Um, so I definitely recommend it for you guys. It's $19.99. You can check it out in the description box below. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next reading Pisces. Bye.